Good day! In today's lesson, we will be dealing with workplace writing. So what is a workplace writing? When we say workplace writing, it is a writing done on the job or as part of the job, often in an office setting. It usually communicates details about a particular job or work project. There are many forms of workplace writing. We have business letters, memos, email, forms, instruction, resume, cover letter, college applications, and job application. But for today, our general focus will be business letter. In today's session, you'll learn how to write a business letter. So what is a business letter? Business letters are formal letters written to, from, or within a business. People usually write business letters to make requests, file complaints, or give information. As defined by www.thebalancecareers.com, a business letter is a formal document often sent from one company to another or from a company to its clients, employees, and stakeholders. A business letter has five parts. First is the heading. It includes the sender's complete address and the date. If you are the one who will write your own business letter, you have to write here your address and the date when you write this letter. Next is the inside address. This includes the complete name and address of the recipient. When we say recipient, it pertains to the person for whom you send your business letter. Let's say the cover letter you have written is for me. You have to write my complete name and of course my complete address. Next is the salutation. It is some kind of greeting or expression of greeting or courtesy by word. It may start with the word dear and is followed by the recipient's title with the surname. Example, Mr. Leong, Dr. Amarns, Professor Manisho. You must also be able to put a colon after your salutation. Next is the body. When writing a business letter, you should prioritize the most important information. Be simple and clear about the purpose of your letter. And last is the closing. This precedes the formal identification of the sender. These are some of the conventional closings you can choose from. Example, very truly yours, respectfully yours, sincerely yours, or best regard. There are two different styles of business letters. We have the block style and modified block style. Now let's determine their differences. In a block style, the content of the business letter are aligned with the left margin or or written or type on the left side of the paper. The paragraphs are also separated with a line space. Look at the example we have. So that is a business letter using a block style format. On the other hand, in a modified block style, the address and the closing are indented in this letter style or are written or typed on the right side of the paper. Meanwhile, the salutation and the body of the business letter are aligned with the left margin or written on the right side of the paper. Take note as well that there's no extra space used between paragraphs. Look at the example that we have. So this one uses modified block style. In organizing your business letter, you must use a consistent form or style. Either use block style or modified block style. Next, use font size and font style that make reading easy. I recommend you to use Times New Roman or Arial with a font size of 11. Next, use left and right margins of 1 to 1.5 inches. And of course, to know how to write and what should be the content of your business letter, I have here some guidelines or format that you must follow. In generating ideas for writing, you must be able to have answers for this first. Form. Let's say, for example, letter of request for information. Audience. For whom is your business letter? Topic. What's the business letter will be all about? Purpose, why do you write this business letter? When you're already done with that, you may now follow our format or guidelines.
For your heading, you must be able to write or type the complete address where the business letter will come from, and of course, the date. So we have Forbes High School Debate 12 8006 Vito Cruz Forbes Manila 1000 and the date June 20, 2015. For the inside address, you'll include here the complete name of the receiver of your business letter and his or her address. So we have Dr. Raymond Weissendigan, Principal Del Mundo National High School, Cavite City 4103, followed by salutations such as Dear Dr. Sandigan, since he is the recipient of your business letter, and then put a colon. For the body of your business letter, it is usually organized into three parts. The beginning should introduce the sender and tell why the sender is writing. Example, I am a senior student at Forbes High School and currently the president of the debate club, which offers free debate clinic. As you can see here, the sender introduced herself. And the reason why she's writing is also included here. I am writing to ask to meet with you or your representative to discuss the possibility of a debate workshop for a select group of students at your school. The middle part of your business letter should give the needed details about the purpose of your writing. Example, since there have been many debate tournaments for public and private high schools in the region recently, we believe that we could offer services valuable to your students. We could give basic public speaking skills for those students who would like to develop their proficiency in speaking and advanced debate training for those students who already have speaking potential. We believe that this time would be well spent not only to help students train in debate, but also to engage them in current political, economic, and social issues in our country. And for the last part of your business letter, you must have the formal identification and the contact details such as our faculty advisor on this endeavor is Mr. Richter Reyes. He can be reached at 6270370. To set up a meeting time at your convenience, please call me at 6271010. I look forward to meeting you. And for your complimentary closing, we have respectfully and then a comma. And of course, your name, position, and signature. Aliyah A. Cacho and signature above your name, position, which is president in a debate club. You may also include copies. This is done when you email your business letter. Just follow these guidelines or format and you'll be able to create your own business letter without having struggle. Just like in our sample business letter as shown on the screen. XYZ Company, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, 3023, March 22, 2021. Pipito Manaloto, CEO, Global MT Corporation, St. Peter Avenue, Makati, 1224. Dear Mr. Manaloto, I am an executive assistant at XYZ Company. In close is the report is the meeting or power consumption for the year as requested by John Brennan, Vice President on March 17. The report is the result of several meetings with Jaime Anson, Manager of Plant Operations, and your staff and an extensive survey of all our employees. The survey was delayed by the transfer of key staff in Building A. We believe, however, that the report will provide the information you need to furnish us with a cost estimate for the installation of your Mark II energy saving system. We would like to thank Andrew Key of PMS for his assistance in preparing the survey. If you need more information, please let me know. Sincerely, Bellas One Executive Assistant XYZ Company. So we also have another example. ABC Company, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, 3023, March 22, 2021. Elsa Manaloto, President, JIX Corporation, St. Peter Avenue, Makati, 1224. Dear Ms. Manaloto, this letter serves as a formal notice to you that you are in default of your obligation to pay the invoice sum of 
and then you may enter here the owing amount as stated in the invoice NR, the number issued on indicate here the month, date, and year regarding you have to in, enter provided service or goods. This amount has been overdue since you enter here the amount, date, and the month, date, and year, and you have failed to pay the same despite repeated requests for payment by our ass. Unless payment of the above stated amount is made within seven days of the date of this letter, we will have no alternative but to exercise protection of our rights envisage under the law to enforce such payment, including but not limited to institutional or legal proceedings against your company to recover the above amount, together with accrued interest and legal expenses. Kindly govern yourself accordingly. Sincerely, Joseph Tan, Account Executive, ABC Company. So those are some examples of business letters that you can use as your guide as you write your own business letter. So that would be all for the day. I hope you've learned something from me. Thank you.